Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Hi, now we are going to talk about list sorting. In this case, we are going to work with exports in Hidalgo for the last years. I got this spreadsheet from INEGI. So, the first step is to copy and paste those values in a new sheet. And we are going to do that. We have all the data to be copied. Press Ctrl C. And we are going to paste this data. I will be deleting the first two rows and it is done. Then the first step to create the list or the data table and the most easy way is to do it by formatting as a table all the range. So we can select a cell inside the range then press format as table and choose the schema color that you want. Like this and it is done. Now we have a data table and we can change its name just by clicking in the table name. I will be renaming as data. Also, we will need to change these values because they are not numbers and we are going to work with numbers. We can press Ctrl F or Ctrl B if you, if you are working in Spanish and select the replace that. So we are going to look for hyphen and we are going to replace it by nothing click replace all then the same for c but in this case we didn't it well because if you see we replaced by nothing all c that is in the spreadsheet so extra extraction got converted to strayon. So let's undo by pressing Ctrl C. And now we are going to do the replace, but selecting options. So we have to mark the match case and match entire cell content. So now we can replace it as well. And it is done. In this case, since we created a data table, we are able to apply filters. Maybe under the name or description, Maybe we can add another column for category. And this is others. Now we can apply filters on the category. And if you remember, in the new table design tab, 
we rename it the data table as data. So by default, we got a new defined name called data. Also, each column is a new defined name called data and the header name, in this case, categoría. In data tables, we are also able to work with subtotals. Subtotals are good functions that make it work better. And in order to apply it, we have to choose the subtotal function as well. We have the next subtotal functions. Average, count, count A, max, mean, product, standard deviation, sum, bar, for variance. So, let's work first with the max. In order to know which is the max value in this column, so, we are going to add the second parameter as a range. If you remember, our table is data and we have a row. The column is 2007. And it is done. We have the range. Also, we are able to work with other functions. like sum and we are going to copy the same function for for the whole table now the best is that we can apply filters for instance for the second value and all the subtotal values will be applied just on the shown rows. Another function that we can use when we are working with data tables is about sorting by columns. In this case, everything is sorted by código. And we can apply sorting in the filter board bottom. And if it is a numeric column, we can sort for from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. If the column is an alphanumeric column, we can sort from A to C or C to A. Also, in some cases, we have to sort by two or more columns. In this case, we can go to the data tab, then click in the sort button and we can choose all the columns that we want to sort by. For instance, maybe I want to sort first by category, then by description, then by the code. And we can sort based on the cells values, cells color, font, color, or conditional formatting icon. And we can apply the other order from A to C, if the column is alphanumeric, or from C to A. And if the column is numeric, we can sort it by smallest to largest or largest to smallest. 
And then now it is sort based on the criteria we set before. And that's all.